guess what? What? It is I, Rubix. Oh. Hey guys, what is happening? My name is Rubix. Welcome to the party. Today we're going to be talking about a new engine made by Improbable called Spatial OS. It's not just for games, but for a multitude of purposes. But what it can potentially bring to games is the exciting part. Now, for example, Dean Rocket Hall, the mastermind behind DayZ, is creating a new sci-fi MMO called Ion, which is being built with Improbable, i.e. the Spatial OS. So let's break down real quick the engine and why it has the potential to possibly change the future, not just for games, but especially for MMOs. Now, here's a quote taken from a Worlds Apart article, which, again, everything will be linked and credited below. I'm going to be really pulling from a lot of different articles to try to explain this to you guys a bit more. It's a little confusing, so I will do my best to try to make it easier here. And again, some of the footage you're seeing is going to be from some of these games that are coming out. One is called Worlds Adrift. Again, another is going to be Ion, which is going to be Dean Hall's project. Now, Worlds Adrift and Ion are both two projects, two game projects, that are being built around the Spatial OS. But again, this Spatial OS is not just going to be for games, it's going to be for a lot of things. It's a distributed operating system that makes building simulated worlds possible. Simulated worlds provide unique insight to those asking questions of complex systems, as well as enabling completely new experiences in gaming. Simulated worlds can solve significant problems in areas as diverse as defense, energy, city efficiency, health, and finance. Spatial OS, a new operating system that operates across hundreds or many thousands of machines, the idea being that developers can bring a game or application that scales across all of those devices, unlocking new possibilities for future world building. Now, the tech can already be seen in Boss's upcoming title, World Drift, a project said to have a game world that is the size of Israel. Players explore floating islands in the sky as they harvest resources to build and improve their ship and explore vast reaches of the game's environment, all while battling other players and in-game enemies. Spatial OS basically multiplies what a developer can do, says Nerula, the CEO of Improbable. It acts like a smart infrastructure which manages these quite complex running applications. It exists to try and scale things like massive simulations, which previously no one could do. Anything you see, you can go to. There are no loading screens. There's absolutely nothing about this in any way tricking players or being faked. It's true simulation, or as they like to call it, smart simulation. Again, Wired UK recently did an article on Improbable and shed some new insight into the potential possibilities the engine can bring to the table. Again, all these articles are linked and credited below for reference for anyone interested in this more. Now, their main aim was to take distributed systems used in high-frequency trading and apply them to games to enable massively multiplayer experiences that have the richness of gameplay of a first-person shooter. You could have a Call of Duty experience with an entire army. You could have hundreds of thousands of entities in the world with a simulated city with traffic infrastructure. You can have a battle up high on the mountain and some of that debris falls in the river. That debris will float down the river to the next town. If another player is down there, they will see that debris. That won't disappear. Every object in the world remains in the world whether or not players are active or not. Now, this has been made possible because Improbable's technology solves two key problems. The first is getting lots of players interacting in the same world in a truly scalable way. This has been achieved through the creation of a distributed system that can move seamlessly between servers, borrowing techniques from other industries where latency is key, including banking. In fact, Nerula says that Improbable is responsible for rehabilitating bankers and telecommunications, specifically the way that mobile phones stay connected when users move between cell towers. This means that gameplay is no longer limited by what can be achieved on one engine or a single server. The second problem is how to model thousands of entities in the world efficiently, and this has been achieved by separating the graphics from the simulation. The simulation continues even when players are not around. You can view it by using a web browser instead of a game engine, if you wish to do that. Also, Improbable's technology plugs into existing game engines like Unity, CryEngine, and Unreal. So Spatial OS is going to be used alongside Unreal, CryEngine, Unity. Now with this approach, Improbable promises to allow for online games in huge, living, breathing worlds where every action has a universal consequence. An explosion on one side of the world caused by one player may mean that a shipping container falls out of the sky in another player's game. A non-player character who gets knocked over in a street by a player won't forget it seconds later. He will remain angry. 
and may tell his friends to avoid that player too. A dragon that one player slaughters won't appear minutes later to be killed by another. This is the sort of emergent gameplay that comes from fully responsive, intelligent worlds. The idea that reactions to what you are doing are intelligent and they feel intelligent. So what do you guys think? We currently have two games coming out on this engine, or asset, Spatial OS, with many more games soon to follow, I would imagine. Now the technology that's behind this could really be coming at the right time, especially with the beginning of consumer VR and VR-specific games. That all said, I can see MMOs being developed on this platform that will be nothing like we've ever seen before. Literally think of the Matrix, the lady in the red dress. In terms of systems inside of a game, the potential is there to be this complex and essentially almost limitless. Right now, Dean Hall's sci-fi MMO Ion is in the pipeline, while Worlds Drift is scheduled to come out in 2016. If there's any new games that are being developed by Improbable or Spatial OS that I don't know about, please let me know in the comments. Again, apologies if this was a little bit confusing. It's kind of a complex system. It's not really an engine. It's like it's an engine or an asset that developers can use with their coexisting engines to make a strong simulation, basically. If game devs really start to use this and start to build Spatial OS with their coexisting games, I think we can see a new breed of MMOs. And hopefully we're going to see that with Worlds Adrift and Ion. Again, links and references below if you're interested more in this. There's a lot of links and information you should definitely check out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate your time. I want to continue watching Improbable develop and improve this asset for game developers. I think it's going to be very awesome to see this in the near future, how things go. Again, please leave your comments below. And as always, we have more information here at MMORPG.com. My name is RipperX. See you guys soon.